Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. Just gonna dive into XLP and once again thank you for support. Okay, we've got the Coins Kid crew. So right now I do apologise for not making any videos the past couple of weeks. I've been really busy on my mum's kitchen and equally I'm really sorry about my analysis on this breakout here. I really did think, you know, I was getting a bit too bullish. I really did think we've got this accumulation pattern. Okay, this big, big, massive horizontal. We're coiling up, coiling up and we get really close to the apex and you know, I was anticipating a breakout to the upside obviously, but obviously we've come down. But you know, you can't always envision what's going to happen. And this is why it's all about support and resistance. I did say to you, if you start to come down and lose this support just there, you've got a reversal wave coming down, you know, and I've given you your targets in previous updates. And you can see just there, I think we have actually come down and we've met them targets. OK, uh, let me show you right now because you created a reversal wave from there to there. And like I said to you, your minimal target is 1618 and you will find capitulation on the two fib. So you can see that you've actually come down, you've, you've met the two fib at zero free free and equally this trend line okay so this is a bit of confluence that this particular level of resistance has now been back testing turn support twice so you've got this resistance here which was resistance there it came back for support relative resistance again coiled up and broke out okay with that you got a little bit of extended here met a 1618 target and you came back to support you broke out you retraced that high, failed to get for it, and with that, you've come back down and you've actually bounced off the trend line once more. So the big question is, is the correction over? Is it done? Okay, so there is a possibility it is done, and we're looking at a beautiful few months here for XRP, but I'm going to show you a potential scenario that I'm looking at right now is this ABC correction for XRP. Okay, so look, you've got a big A wave down, you've got a B leg, and right now this is a C leg, okay? And usually you see something called an ABC zigzag correction. And with that, when you lose this low, like I said to you, this low, really important, okay? When you lose that low, you do usually go down to the 1618 at bare minimum. Let me show you that target that I'm looking at right now for XRP. So this is a potential scenario that I'm looking at over the next couple of months here for XRP and crypto, because what I think we might be looking at here is basically, um, a big massive correction from 2021 into 2022 okay and then I think that from 2022 into 2023 we're going to put in a big big impulsive move okay that's not being a permeable or over but it's just something I'm looking at okay and I, I do anticipate that we're going to get and it's going to be married with the SEC as well so I'm trying to find the lows for you now usually with an ABC correction zigzag we have an A wave down a B leg high and then a C leg dump and the C leg is quite nasty okay and you do usually see the one 618 met okay at the minute you can see we've married the 1414 we've bounced off it at 03351 which is a two fib capitulation of this reversal wave here look this big reversal wave so for me what i think we might be looking at is something like this okay you've got a one you got a two this is a three and right now you're going to retrace have a correction back up to these highs okay potentially that could be a key resistance to 055 everyone gets really bullish again and then you have one last rug pull down to the 1618 is 027 and that's your low that's the 1618 met and it's another retest of this trend line okay and you've got a double retest of this trend line as you did here last year in this a leg down as well so it's a potential scenario to invalidate all that all you have to do right now is come back up and break this high okay if you start to come back up and you break this high then i think that this is impulsive and no longer corrective okay and you're looking at no longer being impulsive to the downside you're starting to reverse the trend you're going to start to come back up the stairs because like i said to you the greater you retrace the greater the impulsive pace so let's say for example that is the target right now for xrp is a 1618 target and you, right now you're putting this third wave down you're going to retrace in four and you're looking at final fifth leg down on the 1618 eventually over the next couple of months okay so you might be looking at some kind of retracement over the next couple of months everyone gets really bullish again okay just like you did here a couple of months and then you rug pull a couple of months and then your final rug pull down and your 1618 will be an amazing entry point because at that point if i'm correct okay and we've got this a b c zigzag and we bounce off the 1618 at bare minimal then you, your next target is massive here for xrp i'm going to show you what i'm looking at you're looking at a minimal six dollars sixty so from there that that generational opportunity all the way up sometime in 2023 you could be looking at that price tag for xrp that's 2383 percent from that point okay so that's a quick little update for you for xrp i do anticipate some kind of little reversal pattern here come back up into resistance which i will show you and then one final rug pull okay to invalidate this scenario right now this abc zigzag all we gotta do is see xrp come up and take out that key level resistance just there for xrp okay hope you enjoyed that update i was trying try and stay a bit more frequent with the updates um, i'm going on holiday on saturday but you know i'm still long-term bullish on xrp and you know i'm still stacking the xrp but anyway that's my own you know personal opinion nothing i say is financial advice okay take care everyone back to another update on xrp stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye